Let's say you find yourself doing a lot of problems that involves finding uh, components and projections. One of the things you might want to do is actually define those functions, and we can do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is define a function called a component of a on b, and it's going to take two vectors as its uh, inputs. So um, what I need to do now is just kind of set it up. So I know that that is so matrix vector. Um, it's a dot product of, um, so it's A along B. So it's a dot product of A with a unit vector in the direction of B. So A, comma, and then uh, go back in, menu, seven, vector, and unit vector of B, and I get that. So now what I can do is in uh, var, I have that, and I give it, so it's A, uh, let's say three, two, five, along B, let's say is one, Three, six, and it just does the calculation for me. Um, I might also be doing a lot of projections of A on B, where we need to give it two arguments again, it's equal to. Um, I could actually just do, uh, I could call upon this function here, component of A on B, and then multiply that by the unit vector of B again. Um, I'm going to just enter it again here. Actually, just going to copy that because I've already typed it in times, and then I want the unit vector of b again. So here, vector, unit vector, and b. So I do that, and now I can do the um, projection of uh, a on b. So let's say two, seven, uh, nine, two, one, whatever. Um, or I could go back up and get um, get that, and I'm going to change this to the function. Delete that, projection, delete that, missing currency, I mean missing currency, get rid of that. Still missing currency, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, now it worked. Uh, apparently I just had too many parentheses, I don't know. Um, okay, so I have that. Uh, now what I can do is, so that's the projection of A, which is this, onto B. So if I take A and subtract this, what I should now have is two vectors that, if I do their dot product of the projection and this, I get zero because they're orthogonal to each other. And if you think about the right triangle that you create when you uh, work on these problems, uh, that makes a lot of sense. And then obviously if I add them together, if I do uh, this plus, uh, I think this, so one of them is the projection, I've lost track of what's what. But anyway, I get three, two, five, which is what I was expecting because I'm doing the projection of three, two, five onto one, three, six. Um, so that's a really quick way to check to see if we've done it right, is kind of subtract and do the dot product, make sure that they're uh, orthogonal. Um, so that's what I would do, and uh, I hope you find that helpful. I didn't mention it, but remember when you're defining a function, you have to do control equal, so it's control and then this key right here, and that'll get you uh, that. It should say done if you've done it correctly, and uh, I hope you find this uh, beneficial.